feelings about Natalie? What sort of feelings? I don't know. They're confused. I tried to deny them, but now I can't. I knew it. I sensed your feelings. You treated me like a jealous shrew. Whenever I asked you about them, you lied to me. Not to you. To me. I was afraid to admit it. I was a coward. So you pretended to love me? Oh, the love was there. I couldn't understand my feelings about her after all that has happened between us. Where does this leave me? Do you love her? Are you going to run up? off to her in your charming way and declare yourself? Silver, please, I don't know what, if any future I have with Natalie, that's besides the point, but I cannot ask you to be in my life and the feelings I have for Natalie are so much a part of me. You've decided this for me? Why don't you let me decide what, whether I want you or I don't want you in my life? Because I'm now trying to do what's best. Oh, I don't believe it. How could I be so stupid? I thought you loved me. I was concerned about your history with Natalie, but I thought you loved me and we could work it out. I did love you. Did? The past tense? Oh, this is so easy for you. You can just, you can just throw this away. What was your investment in this relationship if you can drop it so quickly? Nothing. Nothing, because you have nothing to give. You're too afraid of commitment to give anything to anyone. Erica, Natalie, me. I'm angry. <laughs> Who's next? Silver, try to understand. What are you after anyway? Perfection? Or do you just like damsels in distress, save one and move on to the next? I never wanted to hurt you. I don't understand. You can have someone who loves you so totally, but you prefer someone who's treated you so maliciously? I'm trying to understand what's happening with me, with her. Erica was right. Natalie's a black widow spider. Don't. Don't. Natalie has never done anything to you. She has some sort of power over men. And she uses them. I hate her. She's ruining everything. Silver, let's not end our relationship with blame and recriminations. And... It doesn't have to end. Please say you don't want it to end. I'm sorry, Sophie, but I think it's best. Oh, give me another chance. Please, see Natalie. See her all you want and compare her to me. You'll see who really loves you. No. No, I, I'd never put you in such a humiliating position. I can't lose you. If that's what I have to do, I'll do it. Silver, you have to go on with your life. Why did you save me on Cobbler's Island? I would have been better off dead. You are my life. I owe you my spirit and my will to live. I could have given up so many times. Silver, you owe to no one but yourself. You are what you are, with or without me. No, I'm not. Yes. You've known love. You're going to find it again. I don't want your sort of love. It isn't love if you can throw it away. You're cold. And you're selfish. And you just try to cover it up with your precious words. I did love you. <laughs> when did it stop? Before the attack? After? The attack has nothing to do... You never believed I was attacked, did you? I don't know. I had doubts. If anything, this attack was merely a catalyst. When I couldn't believe you, unconditionally, I realized I had less of myself to give you than I thought. Oh, you have this all figured out, don't you? And it's all the way you want it. Including the fact that this is the best thing that could possibly happen for me, which means you don't even have to feel guilty. Guilty? You want me to feel guilty? I feel guilty. I... I feel like hell, Silver. I wish my feelings were clear. I wish I had understood them. But I gave you everything. 
And all the time you parceled yourself out in little thrifty spoonfuls. I give you all I had. I realize now it was not enough, and I blame myself for that. But now it's time to let go. You mean it's time to throw me out? Go on, you're mad enough to put it honestly. You're throwing Silver out because you got tired of her. <laughs> protection on your windows. There's a way you can put a nail in the frame so that someone trying to get in can't even see it. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised you haven't had it done. Oh, I just didn't think that, you know, I haven't been thinking clearly lately. Well, there's a rapist prowling the neighborhood. We have to be as careful as we can. Fortunate girl were to have a, a little scare from a distance, of course. If on a, a lonely street a man or someone dressed like a man was suddenly to dart out of the shadows and run after his victim, but not catch him, of course. There, you see? Jeremy would have to believe that you were telling the truth.